All right, I hope everybody is doing well. We have done a 99 overall goaltender. We've done a 99 overall forward. And now we are doing a full career simulation of a 99 overall defenseman. So obviously all of his stats are maxed. And I'll just quickly show you the abilities that I put on. There's nothing that's really specific here. I sort of just tossed on um, abilities as I saw them. It's almost random in a way, you know, I just kind of put them on. But anyway, yeah, so absolute stud muffin here. Happy Gilmore. And obviously expected to go number one because players are clearly valued more than goaltenders. So this is how the draft lottery results went down. Minnesota moved from fourth to first. And that gives them quite the opportunity. They will capitalize on it as well. Picking up happy Shane Wright. Pick number two there to the Sharks. And um, Voloshenko goes to Detroit. All right, here are the lines for the Minnesota Wild. The team, you know, it actually overall wise, it looks pretty solid, I must admit. For their first year here, he is on a entry level contract as expected, or I guess as required. And yeah, they finished 15th in the league with 92 points. So they would make the playoffs in year number one. Happy Gilmore puts up 102 in 82 which is insane rookie year right there obviously he's gonna get the the Norris and the Calder well Calder for sure Norris I mean yeah it was very very likely but I guess you never know they ended up getting swept by the Avalanche in round number two there and Chara is the top defenseman for this retirement class we have Kaprizov Erickson Eck and Fiala on the first line Brodine gonna be playing with Gilmore and we get uh, Wallstedt in net there. The team finishes ninth in the league with 94 points this time. So two more than last year. We got a point a game out of Gilmore this time, but he was a dash six. And because of that, we will not be seeing any trophies for Happy Gilmore. The team once again gets deleted by the Avalanche in round number two. However, an improvement, they made it to six games this time. So here's the current playoff stats for Happy. He's doing all right, I must say. Duncan Keith, the top this year with just shy of 700 points. Kaprizov, Erickson, Eck, and Fiala still at the top there. Gilmore still playing with Brodeen. And Wallstedt is still the starting goaltender. They are climbing up here. They are now 7th in the league with 100 points. Gilmore puts up 117 and was a plus 22. Not too bad. So he's going to take home a few trophies, clearly. And the team will make it one round further this time. Made it to the conference finals, but they got swept by the Nashville Predators. But we still got 19 points in 15 games from Happy, and he was a plus six. Brent Burns going to retire this year. He will be at the top of the year number four retirement class. The lines are staying consistent here, at least the first line and the first defensive pair. And as well, they still have Wallstedt in net with Aden Hill. Backing him up. A new hefty contract here. 15.6 million over eight years. And they will win the President's Trophy this year with 113 points and 55 wins during the season. We got 114 out of Happy this year, playing the full 82 games. Chicago wins the cup. And obviously, we're going to see some more trophies for Happy Gilmore. With a year like that, it should come as a surprise to no one. The team that won the cup, Chicago, put out the Minnesota Wild in round two. A subpar... <laughs> I mean, compared to previous years anyway, playoff performance from Happy Gilmore, but still a very good performance nonetheless. Kaprizov, Eriksson, Ek, and Fiala will remain together, and so will Brodine and Gilmore here. Heading into year number six, Wallstedt, still the starter at 87 overall. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they get back-to-back -back President's Trophy, so two very good seasons. Another 114-point season out of Happy Gilmore, who is once again going to do pretty well for himself at the awards ceremony but the team gets deleted in round number one this time by the avalanche taking six games we got seven points out of gilmore he was a plus one and sunk will be the top retiring defenseman with 817 points first line remains the same we got brad marchand on the second line there 84 overall uh lambos will now be playing with gilmore so brodeen is no longer the defensive partner that Gilmore is used to. Another President's Trophy, 116 points from the team and 116 points from Happy Gilmore, who will actually be bested there by Nate Mack for the Art Ross, but obviously still gonna get a couple trophies there 
as it is an incredible season, especially for a defenseman. Made it all the way to the conference finals against the Canucks, who beat them in six games. And we get 23 points in 18 playoff games at a happy this year. So a very successful playoff run, but they just can't seem to make it all the way. Marchand now on the first line, playing with Eriksson Ek and Kaprizov. Lindgren will be playing with Gilmore. Wolstedt still the starting goaltender. Yeah, another President's Trophy. They're doing all right. I must say, 118 points will get Happy Gilmore another Art Ross. And as you saw there, not only did they win the President's Trophy this year, they also won the Stanley Cup finally. And it was, you know, other than the second round, a pretty easy run for them, it seems. No games went to seven other than that series against the Avalanche. Tyson Berry is going to be the top defenseman this year with 721, a very successful career. Fiala, Eriksson, Ek, and Kaprizov return. Lindgren will be playing with Gilmore, and in net, we've got Wallstedt backed up by McInnes. The team finishes 20th, so just a sudden drop-off there, 89 points, but they still made the playoffs. 97 points out of Gilmore, playing once again the full 82 games. The Leafs do win the Stanley Cup this year, and there will be no individual trophies for Happy Gilmore team makes it to round number two but Chicago rinses them in seven okay I guess that's not really the correct use of rinse then because it was close but two points per game in the playoffs here for happy he definitely had his part he had his guy but the rest of the team just couldn't quite do it Victor Hedman as the top player there and then we add Mangia Payne Mangia Pane still not sure because I've heard it both ways Wallstat still the starting goaltender Minnesota finishes fifth in the league 102 points 47 wins here Gilmore second in the league with 109 points in 82 games. Chicago wins the Stanley Cup, so they clearly have quite the team going on over there. We will see a second round exit for the Wild this year against the Stanley Cup winning Blackhawks. And we have 16 points in 11 games. So once again, I think Gilmore definitely did his job there. Dougie Hamilton is the top retiring defenseman for year number 10. Let's head into year number 11, where Nikita Kucherov is on the first line at 83 overall. Wallstat still going to be the starter there, but McInnes definitely coming for that job. Team finishes third in the league. Happy Gilmore will put up 128 points. What a season. Obviously, that's going to get him some trophies here. Did get another Art Ross, so an absolute legendary season, but playoffs, not so good. First round exit, Dallas Stars will put them out in six. Only seven points from Happy Gilmore. I'm, okay, take seven relatively because I'm comparing it to the rest, you know? <laughs> Roman Yossi is the top retiring defenseman that year. And yeah, the team kind of seems like it's starting to get worse overall-wise. But maybe it's just me. They finished 10th in the league. Gilmore puts up 91 points this time. Still an incredible season. The Toronto Maple Leafs win the Stanley Cup. And there will be no trophies for Happy Gilmore this year. It's actually pretty weird when he doesn't win trophies, because I'm just so used to seeing a whole bunch. But anyway, the Avalanche beat them in round one, taking six games. Seven points in six games again in this playoff run for Happy Gilmore. And Seth Jones will be the top retiring defenseman year number 12. We got Erickson Eck on the first line, but now down to 81 overall. He's still there, though. McInnes definitely took over the starting role. And what a contract. $17 million over six years for Happy Gilmore. Quite the deal, and the year he signed it, the team finishes third in the league. Gilmore puts up 128 points. Imagine in this day and age, seeing a defenseman put up 128 points and take home the Art Ross. That would, like, how would people even react? It would just be absolutely absurd. But uh, anyway, the team, first round exit against the Kings. They took it to seven, but weren't able to get the best of them. Thomas Shabbat is the top retiring defenseman with 732, but quite a few notable defensemen there, as there have been in previous years as well. Gilmore still at 99 overall, but we are heading into year 14, so he's starting to get up there in age. And they will miss the playoffs this year. They finished 18th in the league. Gilmore puts up 104, so still a great season for him. Toronto with another cup win under their belt. Couple more trophies there for Happy Gilmore. He was put on this earth for one reason, and that is to play hockey. Dante Fabro, top retiring defenseman this year. We got Doc Eichel and Grant on the first line. Roach will be playing with Gilmore. Roche, Roach, I'm not sure. Anyway, McInnes will still be the starting goaltender. They finished 17th in the league, once again missing out on the playoffs. I believe this is their first time consecutively missing playoffs since we have started the simulation. 86 points, 
came out of Happy Gilmore this year, and he will go home trophyless this time. Kale McCarr, what a career. Same with Gerard Wierenski, just a bunch of great defensemen there. Ald, Doc, and Grant on the first line. I'm just going to call him uh, Roach, because uh, if not, then it's his nickname. McInnes is the starting goaltender still. Yeah, team finishes fifth in the league. They magically get better. It's good stuff. 110 points from Gilmore. We'll have him placed second in the league. And of course, he's going to get the Norris with that as well. And as you saw, the Minnesota Netminder will also go home with the trophy this time. A first round exit, which is 02 familiar, but this time it was against the Jets. They did push seven games, but we only got three points out of Gilmore in that playoff run. Quinn Hughes, what a career from that guy as well. Almost 1,300 points. That is a legendary simulation. Gilmore down to 96 overall. McInnes, 88. Still going to be a net. They win another President's Trophy this year, though. 114 points will get them that award. We got 109 points out of Gilmore. And the St. Louis Blues go home with the Stanley Cup. But we did not have an empty-handed Happy Gilmore as he won some trophies at the award ceremony individually. They would get eliminated in the first round again by the eventual Stanley Cup winning Blues there. Seven points in seven games from Gilmore that time. And just over 900 points, Adam Fox is the top retiring defenseman in year number 17. This team, I mean, obviously looks a lot different from when we first started because we are very deep into the simulation. The team finishes 13th in the league. Gilmore puts up 100 this year with 82 games played. Carolina will go home with the Stanley Cup. And as we saw there, another trophy win for our boy. The team made it all the way to the conference finals where the Kraken beat them in seven. And I would like to point out that there was a guy on Toronto there, I think it was, whose name was Mick Muffin. That is amazing. It's probably the best generated name I've ever seen in my life. Drysdale is the top retiring defenseman in year number 18. And now we have a new team. That's right. Happy Gilmore has left the wild after all these years. And he is headed to Detroit where he signs a one-year, $12.5 million deal. They finish fifth in the league with 105 points. Gilmore puts up just shy of 100 points. And we have the Nashville Predators going home with the Stanley Cup. Another Norris there for Happy. The guy is a Norris winning machine. But the Red Wings will have a similar fate to the Wild. Well, most of the time anyway. A first round exit. They did get swept. Makes it even worse. And Gilmore was a dash five. So... Not one of his better playoff runs for sure, but it is what it is. And he moves teams again. Happy Gilmore, now down to 90 overall. Signs with the Washington Capitals here. Signs a two-year, $14.8 million contract. So he's still getting paid the massive dollaronies. Team finishes sixth in the Metro and missed the playoffs. Gilmore only puts up 63 points this year and was a dash 11. So that is probably a career worst, I think. Um, but yeah, the other guy we saw drafted, Voloshenko from the beginning there, ended up being the top defenseman that year. Happy Gilmore now down to 84. He's getting down there for sure. The Caps missed the playoffs again here, finishing fourth in the Metro, 91 points, just not good enough. Gilmore will be point a game, 80 points in 80 games. The Buffalo Sabres win the Stanley Cup. We don't see any trophies for Happy, but we do see McMuffin winning another trophy. Happy Gilmore finally decided to retire with a grand total of 843 goals, 1,223 assists, and 2,066 points. He retired at 87 overall. Here are just some of the stats, if anyone's curious. Um, you know, the stats that he retired with. Still had his X Factor there as well. And I'll scroll through all the seasons here so you guys can see the best and the worst, as well as the playoff runs here. All right, there we go. What a career for Happy Gilmore. Tossing up a graphic here, which is hopefully accurate, but it should show all the trophies that Happy won, as well as the teams that he played for throughout his career, which, yeah, was uh, a lot of the time with Minnesota, but then traveled to Detroit, and then the Capitals, and on top of that, some contract final details. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon.